Hey guys, my name is Simsy, and welcome back to some more FIFA 15 career mode. We're bringing back the Manchester United career mode. This is Season 9, Episode 1, so please leave a like to support this series and my channel. Now, in today's video, we only have one match. That is simply because we have another shit ton of... Uh, of transfer negotiations and the first match is against Chelsea now we have two pre-contracts that have joined the club Blazowicz the 91 rated German and Diego Costa 89 overall he is quite old at the moment obviously we are in season 9 of the career mode obviously our main objectives are to win the Premier League for the ninth time in a row and we're going for our eighth uh, Champions League. Obviously, we didn't have Champions League football in the first season because of um, <laughs> David Moisey. But um, this is the team I'm going to be going with. I'm going to be going with the 3-4, uh, you know, the 3-5-2 formation. Um, I put Paul Pogba in. Uh, Wayne Rooney most likely will be retiring this year, so he won't be in the squad. I was going to have him in the midfield to the striker position the last couple of times. But uh, there's a side, mostly 90 rated, uh, but Wayne Rooney's there. Now, guys, if you can remember, in the last season, Cristiano Ronaldo had retired. So, what we're doing now is we're hunting for his regen. Now, his regen is Rubo, Rubo, <laughs> Ruben Diego Nunez Ferreira. <laughs> we're just going to call him Ruben, uh, I think, or... Nunes, <laughs> but this is Cristiano Ronaldo's region, 84 overall, which is lying to us, because when you click on him, he's at 81 for some reason, that happens, 19 years of age, high attacking, low defensive, he's not as sh uh, tall as Ronaldo, he is left footed, and he doesn't have the amount of skill moves, nor weak shot, but still, 99 acceleration, 98 sprint speed, he is going to be so fucking quick, it's going to be ridiculous, now, obviously, we have so much money, it's absolutely ridiculous, so, I don't really care of how much I actually spend on Cristiano Ronaldo's region. Um, but by the looks of it, we might not be able to sign him, obviously, because he's recently just joined. So as you see here, I am putting a fair amount of cash into him. But if you had a chance to buy Cristiano Ronaldo when he was 19... And you already definitely knew his potential. You would try. You would spend crazy amount of uh, money as a football club. But Nottingham Forest seem to want to keep hold of their winger. So we decided to go for a short-term loan because I want to get him into the squad. Maybe if he plays a couple of games for United on loan, he might be more inclined to join. Kevin De Bruyne is going along uh, on a loan to Juventus. Nick Powell, 28 years of age, in the high 80s, is going on a short-term loan to Liverpool. John Flanagan had an offer from Real Madrid. We're going to straight out reject that. The Liverpool fans were quite angry when we snapped him up for a free. David De Gea, who hasn't gone up in stats since forever. I don't know why he's not going up in stats. He's going on short-term loan to Aston Villa. Paris Saint-Germain are trying to snatch up my centre-back. Kurt Zuma, Raphael, 32 years of age, 87 overall. We're only playing three at the back, and we don't particularly need defenders overly that much. So he's going on a loan. Now, guys, Andres Sul, 17 years of age, 71 overall. I was trying to inquire about him. Now, I think this guy could quite possibly be Bastian Schweinsteiger's region. I'm not too sure. There are a couple of German players in that league, and it also could quite possibly just be a, a region player from EA, not necessarily um, Bastian Schweinsteiger. But uh, we did get an offer here for Gerard Piquet, 35 years of age, 85 overall, from Real Madrid, 4.1 million. We picked him up on a free not too long ago. Uh, Anthony Rabio, 20 years of age, 78 overall. Barcelona have uh, sent an offer. But talks have broken down between Manchester United, myself, obviously, and Real Madrid. And PK will not be joining the rival La Liga side. Obviously, he joined Barca. But guys, in today's episode, like I said, we have a match against Chelsea at Stanford Bridge. It's going to be a very, very interesting one. Um, Söderström, the Manchester City Swedish man, who's not Zlatan's regen, um, has a pretty uh, went for sixty million in the August transfer window, which I found was quite interesting. But Luis Suarez here starts off the scoring to make it 1-0 just before the 6th, or just after the 6th minute. And um, 
That first shot from uh, Eden Hazard was absolutely crazy, absolutely crazy. Robert Lewandowski here manages to absolutely belt this one into the back of the net. A little bit of scrap, scrappy sort of football in the box, but Robert Lewandowski manages to prevail just before the 30th minute to make it 2-0. So we're off to a flying start in Season 9 of the Manchester United career mode. And Robert Lewandowski here managed to absolutely belt it on the volley, puts it top net past Peter Cech. But Andrus Schürrle, with a free kick just outside the box, is in a very dangerous position. And uh, Felipe Luis actually managed to take it. Javier Hernandez, the former United man, manages to break away and smacks it wide. Unlike in my Real Madrid career, Mo Hernandez is not a 90 rated. He's pretty high up there. We managed to sell, uh, sell Hernandez for 50 or 40 million. A fair few seasons ago now, but uh, he seems to be Chelsea's main striker after we snatched up Diego Costa on a free. I did manage to bring on Quinterio, which is Radamel Falcao's regen, and uh, he finds Eden Hazard here, and Eden Hazard, determined from the kickoff, obviously that crazy long shot who hit the post, he managed to get his goal just before the 87th minute and steal a steal, sealed the deal against his former side, Chelsea. Absolutely thumped this one, hits the post and dinks in. Really nice goal there from Eden Hazard. 3-0 win against Chelsea and obviously that will keep us... Going Now, guys, let me know in the comment section down below who do you think is going to pick up uh, top goal scorer of the league. Obviously, it's been Cristiano Ronaldo the last couple of seasons. Will it be Robert Lewandowski? Suarez? I reckon it might be Suarez. Who knows? Um, also, let me know who do you think is going to pick up player and manager of the season. Um, we managed to loan out some more players here. Now, him, Boy Hing. My apologies, I sneezed. <laughs> Boy Hing Noor um, could quite possibly be Iron Robin's region. Um, so we'll be able to see if we can get him. Um, maybe in January, I feel like, because we can't seem to sign them in the first window here. Bats went for £57 million to Everton. I'm quite surprised that Everton had £57 million to buy Bats, to be perfectly honest, from Fulham. Uh, Soderstrom went from Manchester City to Bayern Munich. But we're coming to the final hours of the August transfer window. Immobile is going on a short-term loan to Southampton. 25 years of age, 80 overall. He'll be a player for the future if his stats can go up a bit because a lot of my players are quite old at the moment and will be retiring soon. But guys, we are coming to the final minutes of the episode so please leave a like to support this series and my channel subscribe if you haven't to keep up to date with future uploads and remember to have a fantastic rest of your day after you watch this video my name is Ben Simpsey thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later goodbye